The days of super cruise driving is rapidly approaching. GM is at the forefront of autonomous driving and predicts your car will do most of the driving for you within just a few years. <laughs> 7 Action News anchor Jeff Vaughn took one for a spin, or should we say the car took him for a spin? Check it out. It is the most fun you can have not driving a car. Seriously, I know a lot of you may not like the idea of a self-driving vehicle, but I got to tell you, I took a visit to GM's Milford Proving Grounds and it convinced me, and not only is it more relaxing, it's a lot safer. That's me behind the wheel, not driving, going 60 miles an hour, not paying attention to the road. And you know what? It's okay. General Motors invited me to autonomously drive a vehicle over a two-hour time frame on a four-mile track to demonstrate Cadillac's Super Cruise technology. I'm going to now hit the lane following. And then... Just like that. My passenger for this test? GM's Jeremy Salinger, who's helping develop the autonomous driving technology. So, Jeremy, how long before this is available to the public? GM predicts or is planning to have this by the uh, end of this decade to, available to the general public. GM is in a race to develop their super cruise driving technology first, as others like Volkswagen, Ford, even Tesla have announced plans to develop autonomous driving. Analysts say Nissan, Mercedes may be ahead of the competition, but clearly GM is not far behind, and Cadillac especially. So we are driving a Cadillac SRX, autonomous driving, and I'm not touching the wheel. And we're going around corners, cars are passing us, cars are getting in front of us. Pretty cool. Although this is not an excuse to be a distracted driver, under these conditions, with a self-steering car, I'm able to take pictures from the driver's seat with no hands on the wheel. I'm not steering with my knees. My feet are off the gas and brake. The car is doing all the work, even when another car cuts me off while I'm traveling 60 miles an hour. Three, two, one, now. My car senses the other car and slows down to 56, and I didn't have to do a thing. How does this car drive itself? Well, this Cadillac is equipped with cameras that see the lane markings, sensors and mapping to get you around corners, and radar that tells the car to speed up or slow down when a car enters your lane. Salinger, now behind the wheel, tells me GM Super Cruise will lead to safer driving. People, without even realizing it, are driving with larger headways and are, are, are being less aggressive. Than the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reports around 30,000 people die on U.S. roads each year, 90% due to human error. GM hopes Super Cruise will reduce driver error and fatigue on long cross-country trips and in stop-and-go traffic. I think it's what our customers want. That's, that's our goal. Our customers want safety and they want convenience. Aspects of autonomous driving are already being used with blind spot warnings and adaptive crews, but expect the complete autonomous system to be first introduced in those high-end vehicles, offered as an expensive option. But soon after that, like the DVD player, the cost will go down as the technology increases. Back to you.